that topic on why U.S. versus everywhere else. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've found I've had so many problems with my skin that I look for things that are not made in the U.S. because I wish the U.S. had more regulations. That's a great, great point. And mm -hmm. oftentimes, the sunscreens is the biggest, biggest category for mm -hmm. that simply because, yeah, the FDA is incredibly behind, you know. We actually just wrote a post on how um, the world, uh, not the U.S., can use a lot more filters than we can. Mm -hmm. And the last time this really important um, sunscreen, new age sunscreen filter was approved, <laughs> like the Pussycat Dolls was still releasing top hits. So yeah. like, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. It's been yeah. like 15, 20 Tell years. Tell people where they yeah. can find the... Uh the blog post you just mentioned is oh, from your website? Yeah. So, oh, it's on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> it's on our Instagram. And <laughs> I, I love it. And I've seen some of your posts where, you know, you debunk like the ingredients list and go through it. And it's like, well, if your skincare has 45 things in the ingredients mm -hmm. list, I do want to know what all those things are. And, right. you know, I don't want anyone to skip it. I want to know every single thing and why yeah. it's there and if it's helpful or if it's not helpful or damaging. Is it, is it like food where it should just be four or five ingredients? Um, not necessarily. Yeah. But we okay. all say 45 ingredients. It's too, too much. much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There, it, there is purpose. A lot of times we'll get um, questions where they're like, oh, this looks like it's mainly water. This looks like there's only one actual beneficial ingredient, but mm -hmm. what about all the other ones? But mm -hmm. people forget that in order for it to hold up in quality, safety, um, make sure you're not growing any mold, like mm -hmm. there's, they're still important, you know, yeah. and they may sound slightly foreign, but it's not necessarily something to be afraid of. And mm -hmm. there's always a trend of going chemical free. We really don't like that, but <laughs> going toxin free, chemical free, but mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you have to remember that even water is considered a chemical. So, you know, it's important to know that the dosage makes a poison. So it mm -hmm. ultimately comes down to that. And I will say the cutoff for a too long formula is sometimes you'll see packaging, you'll see the ingredient <laughs> list, and then runs over to the other side. Oh, yeah. That's usually when it's yeah. unnecessarily long. Right. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.